Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is December 1st. I cannot even believe it. Time is just flying by. Look at how pregnant I look. I don't know the last time I did a bump shot, but I am about 34 and five days pregnant, so almost 35 weeks. And yesterday was such a hard day for me. I think with just like Thanksgiving and everything else, I just overdid it. And I was getting Braxton Hicks contractions all throughout the day. They would last anywhere from like two hour stretches to like a random hour stretch. And it was just really concerning. So I kind of just tried to take it easy yesterday um, and I feel so much better. Also, I hadn't really been sleeping good. I was just waking up multiple times throughout the night and I would be up for at least an hour, if not more at a time. So last night I put my phone on the other side of the bed and I was just like, no, I am not even gonna look at it. So I still woke up a lot, but I was able to fall right back asleep. So I just feel like a brand new woman today. But with that said, the contractions yesterday kind of freaked me out and got me thinking like, I really need to finalize everything that we need for when this baby comes. Miles did come a little bit early, but I mean, not this early. So I would be surprised if I went into labor this early, but you know what, anything could happen. So I just want to be prepared. So I was really happy that our stroller got delivered yesterday. It's a Duna, it's a car seat and stroller all in one. I am so excited about this. And it's really like the one thing you need to bring the baby home from the hospital. So just having this here is such a relief. I cannot believe that there's gonna be a little baby girl in here soon. So cute. Also, we're gonna install the base in the car today as well. And speaking of car, I don't think I've talked about on my channel. I've showed it on my Instagram, but we did get a new car and I was very hesitant to get this car as my new like mom mobile as a mom of two. But my husband is a huge fan of the company Tesla, so he kind of talked me into it. We went and test drove the Model 3. The Model X is the SUV version, but the base price is like $80,000, so that was a little bit out of our budget. So we decided to go with the Tesla Model 3, which is a big reason also that I decided to get the Duna car seat stroller. So I figured with two kids, if I could avoid having to carry around like an extra stroller piece, Piece that I'll have to transport um, the car seat on and off of that would just be great so we are actually gonna go to Trader Joe's today I'm hoping now that since Thanksgiving is over they're gonna have all their Christmas stuff out but I will show you the car a little bit I actually love it and think it's like the perfect mom car now so i will show you all of the reasons why i love it in today's video and i also wanted to mention that my husband has a youtube channel as well and over on his channel he documented the day that we actually went and picked up the new car from tesla his channel talks a lot more about the technology of the car how it all works why it's a good investment, all that stuff. All right guys, we just got to the Tesla Supercenter here in West Palm Beach. Teslas don't really use keys or anything. You just upload the key to your phone. So your phone is your key. We bought the full autonomous self-driving, the feature where you can auto summon the car. So if I wanted to call the car over here, right here, I can just do it on my phone. You feel like you're buying a piece of the future here. You're buying an electric car that with full self-autonomous driving, a bunch of cool features. So make sure you guys stay tuned on the channel. I'll be doing all kinds of features and updates that the car does. Yeah, his channel is mostly like finance and investing and things like that so i will go ahead and leave his video down below and the link to his channel so you can go and head over and check it out <laughs> so ryan just took the charger out it's still so crazy to me that we don't have to get gas anymore we just plug it in at night and we installed the little charging thing Wait, over there ryan's having the car back out of the garage by itself Pretty crazy. I am excited to see how this thing is gonna fit in the car. We think we finally figured this thing out. We have Miles' seat over here, and we have the basin. So pretend like there's a baby in here. We're gonna come over here, turn the corner. All right, and you just gotta put it down and get in. Yay, and then for some reason these seats, the headrests aren't compatible with my mirror so i don't know maybe i'll just get 
a piece of Velcro or just get a different mirror. <laughs> You're gonna have a little neighbor back there. You're gonna help us take care of her, okay? She needs some milk. You're gonna give her some milk while you sit here, and you're gonna do all the, whatever she needs. She wants to play with toys. You'll teach her. Fingers in your mouth. You teach her all the things. All right. So now we have both car seats in. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Ready to go. Definitely don't have room for a third kid. <laughs> it's definitely a two kid car. The idea of getting the Duna was to make sure we still had trunk space. So you actually have what's called a frunk, a trunk in the front. <laughs> where the engine would be, <laughs> which we can show when we get groceries. Yeah, we'll put some groceries in there. So this is the backup cam. I'm really impressed with this car, mostly because of how safe it is. And there's cameras that go all the way around it, so it's constantly um, picking up on every car, person, bike that's around it, which I will show you. Ryan has it in self-driving mode right now, which I don't really use just because I'm not that comfortable with it. But when it's in self-driving mode, it has these two blue lines on either side. You can show them how um, it's gonna have a stop here, like my feet are here. See, I don't, I don't like that. So the car, <laughs> there's a stop light and it sends the cars ahead of it were stopped, so it stopped. But to me, I feel like it starts slowing down a little late, so I don't really like to use that. But what I do like about this car is it shows on the corner here the speed limit of whichever road you're on, so I think that's really handy. It has, of course, navigation. What else? There's a bunch of like music, streaming features. This is really cool, especially for kids. They have this karaoke. Over here they have Disney karaoke, so like Miles and I will jam out to let it go. You have to just certify that you're a passenger. So we can just like jam out to Disney music and so that's a really fun feature. And then another cool thing that you can do that my son loves is if you click on this Tesla button up here and swipe down. They have all of these little things that they call Easter eggs, but like this one, my son thinks is so funny. You can you can put it on a seat to make it like fart. <laughs> so if you have like a passenger who's coming to sit in your car, you could turn this on and when they sit down, it'll make a fart noise. The other one he loves to use, where's the drawing one? This one you can just like sit here and like draw. This is an example of what I was talking about on how it senses everything around it. So we can see all of the cars that are in front of us and on the sides. So it does have a lot of cool like little gizmos and gadgets on it and stuff like that but I really do feel safe driving this car. But hands down my favorite thing about this car is not having to stop at gas stations anymore. It is so nice to be able to just plug your car in at night and it'll just charge and you are ready to go. All right, so Ryan, we're in the Trader Joe's parking lot right now. We have all of our groceries here and we're going to try to have the car pick us up out front. So, press the button. <laughs> all right. So our car is parked right over here in this row. Oh, did you see it backing up? Look away. <laughs> Uh, Miles, Miles really is weird. not gonna run away, I don't think. Ah! It looked like it was gonna hit that. Yeah, car. it did. So what are you gonna do now, Miles? You stay here. Is it gonna hit the car? So we can put, what, like two bags in here? Two bags in here. Uh, this is all dry, right? Put this sideways. All right, so we just got back from Trader Joe's. They had some of the holiday stuff out, but it was mostly just like the sweets and things. They didn't really have everything, but I did pick up a bunch of like new stuff that I wanna show you guys. And then of course, a bunch of like our classic yeah. things. This was new, these hot cocoa O's and Miles is actually snacking on them right now. And he said they're really good. They come with just little like chocolate, um, crispy oat corn and cocoa hoops with freeze dried marshmallows. So those are out for like their Christmas holiday stuff. 
And then last year, I never got to try these, so I scooped them up this year. They are the Stroop Waffle Ice Cream Sandwiches. And I don't know if this is the same flavor as last year, but I just really wanted to try these. They're the Caramel Waffle Cookies filled with salted caramel ice cream. So those sound delish. Another thing I like to have for breakfast with eggs and some avocado are these cauliflower pancakes. This is one of my favorite things to get, this Mexican style corn and quinoa salad. The dressing that comes with it and the cheese is so good. It's like a cilantro dressing and you just kind of like mix everything up together. So good. And then I tried this one for the first time. It's the harvest grain salad. But again, this one looks really good. I love pecans and then it comes in a harvest spice dressing, which sounds interesting. And I like that there's quinoa in there and some kale. And then I also picked up some mozzarella cheese, which I usually get. And then we picked up some of these to try. They're the mini chicken tacos. I've never tried these before. I don't even think I've even seen them there before, but I don't think they're new. So I believe that six tacos come in here. So I don't know, it's lunchtime right now and I may make these for lunch because they sound really good. And then I picked up these seasoned Brussels sprouts. These are just a really good, easy like side to make. This one has garlic. What else does it have? Oh, it doesn't say. But I think it's just like, crushed garlic and some salt and pepper and then some snow peas which i've been really loving lately some sliced baby bella mushrooms these are my favorite raviolis from trader joe's they are the brussels sprouts and caramelized onion ravioli they're so good and then over here we just got some sweet potato tortilla chips i let miles pick out a chip and this is what he picked out this time also he picked these um cheddar cheese sticks i got this for my lunch on one of the days that i work it's the paneer tiki masala and it's one of my favorites and then i'm hoping it cools down around here again so i picked up some um lean beef stew meat so i can make a stew we got flank steak and then just some um, lean ground chicken for tacos. My husband wanted me to make nochi this week, so we got some of those. These are amazing, the dark chocolate pretzel slims. These are like dangerously good. Got some avocados. And then I love these tortilla chips to make with like taco night, even though I guess it's more of like a nacho night because we like to have it over these chips. They have all sorts of good things in there and they taste really good too. Another favorite of ours is this balsamic rosemary beef steak tips. I usually just saute this on the stove and they are so good, but I'm sure you could grill them too if you wanted. And then I'm trying this for the first time for lunch. Bib Imbop Bowl, probably did not say that right, but it just looked um, different and good. And then I like this pesto, vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. And I'll usually spread some of this on these um, frozen garlic naan breads. And then I'll like toast them up and put roasted vegetables on there just for like an easy lunch. Bananas. We always get this vegetable fried rice. It's so good. But usually we get it with the orange chicken. But this time I wanted to try something a little different. So... This is the shiitake mushroom chicken, which I've never had before, but I figured we'd switch it up a little bit. And then I love getting scallops from Trader Joe's. They're a pretty good price. Oh, and I tried this pizza the last time that I went to Trader Joe's and it was so good. Miles liked it too. It's not like a typical pizza dough. It's on like some sort of tart and it's just really good and it has caramelized onions and ham and cheese so yummy it's not huge so i mean it was just enough for like miles and i to have for lunch but it was really good and then i've never had this either it's the root vegetable fries and it's carrots beets parsnips and sweet potatoes so i thought that might be good to try and then i love their sweet potato fries so i got one of those and then I wanted to try this organic roasted vegetable pizza. And then this is my favorite cereal right now. I crave it every single morning. It's just like a vanilla almond granola. And I really like the texture too. It's just so good. And then they have these holiday dog treats. I always get like their different seasonal dog treats. So I think that's the back. 
This is the gingerbread flavored dog treats. So hopefully my dogs will like them. And I think they're actually, yeah, they're, this is the actual size and they're just little gingerbread men. So that's cute. Miles and I also love these. They are the habanero lime flour tortillas. We will just snack on these just as is. They're so good. And then my husband is obsessed with these candied gingers, so we got two of those. And last but not least, we got this spinach and chive linguine pasta. They have really good, like, fresh pastas there. Or not fresh, but just, like, not, you know, like the normal from the box pasta, if that makes sense. So we've had this one before, and um, I just wanted to pick this one up again just for, like, an easy weeknight meal. I'm in the nursery right now. I just got some packages from Amazon of things that I ordered for her and I'm about to film a what's in my diaper bag for the hospital for the baby. Probably gonna have to work on that title because that does not flow good, but you know what I mean. So I need to film that video. I also got a bunch of questions about if I was going to be doing Vlogmas. And if you don't know, Vlogmas is basically just having a video up every single day leading up to Christmas. So I do not think that I will officially be participating in Vlogmas just because I don't even go on maternity leave until I think my last day is December 13th, which is still a little bit early, but I need it. I just like need the time, but I am gonna be trying to put up more videos than normal in December, if that makes sense. So stay tuned for that. I have my DIY Christmas video coming out with those tins that I showed in another video and on my Instagram that a lot of people wanted to see how I made. So I imagine that one's gonna be up next because I just have to finish editing it. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna bring to the hospital for Baby Hunter. And then I am just waiting on a couple other items for our hospital bags, but I am gonna be filming that video too. And then I do plan on doing a lot of like baby watch videos. I don't know when I should start those. I don't think they're gonna even check um, to see if I'm dilated yet until I believe they start checking around 37 weeks. But I have an appointment on Tuesday this week and that is when they check to see if you are like GBS positive and all of that fun stuff. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to just update you and let you know about our new car and why I liked it. And I also just thought it would be fun to kind of do a collab with my husband's channel. Our channels are very different, so they don't ever really overlap, but we thought maybe we could do something with this car together. And again, I will have his channel and video linked down below if you wanna go and see the day that we picked picked up the car and just find out some more financial smart people things head on over to his channel <laughs> oh and I am also going to be filming a nursery tour it's just not ready yet I have had so much stuff going on I just I feel bad I haven't been able to commit the amount of time that I want to in this nursery but I will get there so <laughs> thank you guys again for watching make sure you are subscribed give this video a thumbs up it really helps out my channel and i will see you in my next one bye